Hi folks, we just made this part in SolidWorks Sprout Cam and turned it on the Tormach lathe. Let's take a look at making it in Fusion 360, should be a good comparison, and then we're going to run the cam in HSM Express, which I'm hoping soon Fusion 360 will have the lathe cam, because that's what I'm really wanting to focus on. Let's dive in. So we're going to do a sketch on this plane, and we're going to start with that two inch line. Enter, enter, and come down 0.35, go over 1.625, oh sorry, 1.375. Now we've got to add that radius and I couldn't figure this out so we'll show you how I did it. It's arc, three point arc is what I'm used to and it looks right here but then if we add the dimension of this radius which we want is one inch it moves this part over and you can reference this to stay 90 degrees but it just gives you an error so there's probably a better way to do this but part of what I think is important is you got to figure out how to make it work you may not have time to to reach out to help or go research it you need to sort of brute force it so let's brute force it let's sketch a one inch sorry two inch circle because we know it's a one inch radius that we want now I'm just gonna drag this around and you can see okay that kinda looks correct so watch this click on the outside of the circle hold down control click on the point here and click coincident and then do the same thing the click there click there matches them to be coincident go to trim oops trim the wrong thing trim that trim that trim that there we have it Maybe the wrong way to do it, but it works. Sketch, come up 0.075, come over, oops, come over. I gotta figure out how to keep that line live. And then come down, and then we will trim this, and then we will dimension this. Oops, there we go should be it so now all we got to do is create revolve and profile is this axis is that <laughs> there we have it folks there's our uh, there's our part in fusion 360 I think it's pretty easy so same part now we're in SolidWorks I already did all this cam another nice thing about uh, having cam with your CAD like this is let's create a new job and that'll let us start over from scratch, which I think is an important way to walk through it, but we can also hop back if we need to. Okay, so new job. It's going to bring up our prompt. We need to pick the stock. We will do cylindrical, and we need to choose the face. That lets us. That gives us the right idea. Remember, we said it was radial 0.025. This is from the last video uh, where we actually cut the part. And we will leave 0.05, you know, 0.05. Oops, sorry. This lets you adjust how much stock is in front and behind it. That looks fine. Now, work offset system. We'll do stock orientation, and all I'm going to do, if I click on this plane, nope, that, see, that's the wrong way. So if I click on this, boom. So I'm just experimenting here, but that gives me what I want. Z0, or X0 centered, and Z0 is going to be such that we're going to trim a little bit of material back, exactly what I want. Click OK. Now, folks, I gotta say, this is pretty easy. I don't have a post processor, so we can't run this on the lathe yet, but we're gonna work on that. So, we'll do turning, face. Um, I'm not focused on the tool right now. That we'll come back to later. I don't even think I had to do much at all here to get at least to get a tool path. You have to pick a tool. Select. OK. Click OK. We get a tool path there. We'll adjust all this later when we actually have a post and we can focus on it. I want to just get the operations down today. We'll do a profile, so turning profile. And what we'll do is same tool, and we can do a confinement. And this will actually let us cut a little bit ahead and behind the part. So if we add 0.05, see how that expanded right there? And 0.05 here expands it back here. I like that. Uh, it's a nice amount of control. And you can adjust these as you see fit. 0.004, oops. 
Uh, and what else? We'll do, we'll turn on smoothing and we'll say the last finish pass is only 10 thou. Click OK and look at how easy that is. Now something I haven't figured out, which we were able to do in Sprout Cam is avoid it going into this feature. We could do it by disabling that in SolidWorks or creating another piece of geometry, but I think there's probably a better way. So we'll be back with more when we figure that out. What else we gotta do? We gotta do a profile groove and we'll choose from our library a um, grooving tool. And the same thing, we we'll use that confinement to force it to stay oops, within these two faces. And we can choose, make sure we get a tool path there. We, see a we get a tool path. Let's just go back here and edit. We'll do smoothing again and we'll do, you know, a finished pass of only 0.01. Uh, one. It should hug us a lot closer. Perfect. Okay, and then we'll choose turning part and same tool comes up, that's fine. What do we need to do here? Let's, let's actually, here, let's edit the um, parameters. So we do want constant service speed, let's say 250, and then we will enable feed per rev. Let's do cutting feed per rev of only 3,000, pretty slow, I know. Click OK and look at that, we get our pack. How easy was that, folks? So a lot more to come. CNC turning is awesome because usually the fixturing is so easy. You know, you know, let's make the quintessential chess piece. Let's have some more fun with this thing. We'll be back for more, but I hope that you enjoyed that Fusion 360 NHSM tutorial. Take care. See you soon, folks.